Should you go with a Nvidia GeForce or an AMD Radeon graphics card? Everyone has a different view on this. For me, I usually go with Intel and Nvidia. I did own a few Radeon cards, for example the Radeon 9800 and also the HD 4850. But for most of my builds, I do tend to go with an Nvidia GeForce graphics card. But what about retro gaming? Both cards have their pros and cons, but to me AMD stands out with a few things that it does better than Nvidia. So today we're looking at 5 things that AMD Radeon graphics cards do better than Nvidia GeForce in regards to retro gaming. So we're talking specifically about Windows XP and also good old MS-DOS. The cards we're using in today's video are the Radeon R7 240 and the GeForce GD630. In the background we have Need for Speed Underground 2 running on the Radeon at 1024x768 with all details maxed out. This is the full version, one of you helped me out with a copy and asked me to test it on this graphics card. So the idea isn't to bash Nvidia, not at all, but to document what these issues are because you might not even be aware of them. Like with most things to do with PC gaming, there often is a workaround or something you can do to improve the result. So I will point out any solutions that I'm aware of that might work for you and maybe you have a tip to share as well. We will start off with the more severe issues but also look at minor issues that could be interesting to know but likely not really affect you and what you're doing. Number 1 has to do with GPU scaling. If you're using a modern widescreen monitor, you can use GPU scaling to enjoy your old games in the proper old school 4x3 aspect ratio. Under Windows 10, both AMD and Nvidia cards have options for this in the driver. Under Windows XP though, the latest Nvidia drivers do not have this option. This means that all your games will be stretched to fill the screen. AMD on the other hand, does have the GPU scaling options in the XP drivers and we can see it here in action. Now this wasn't always an issue with Nvidia. If you're using a very old video card like a 7800 GTX and in combination with older drivers, the scaling options will appear. But if you use something newer, then you're out of luck. So is there anything you can do with an Nvidia card? Do try the VGA connection instead of DVI. Most monitors have an option to adjust the aspect ratio when receiving a VGA signal. The other option is to just stick with older cards and drivers, but this might not be an option for everyone. Number 2. AMD supports full RGB when using HDMI and Windows XP. Under Windows 10, both AMD and Nvidia lets you select between full RGB and limited RGB when you connect to a HDMI device like a monitor or television. Full RGB is also known as 0 to 255 and limited RGB as 16 to 235. In short, the settings need to match the monitor or the TV. For TVs, limited RGB is sort of a standard, but for PCs, full RGB is what you want to use. With Nvidia cards and Windows XP, this option is not present in the driver. You are stuck with a limited RGB and if you're connecting to a PC monitor, your colors will look off. Blacks will be dark grey and whites will be light grey. People often describe this as being washed out. Possible workarounds are not using HDMI but VGA or DVI instead. Also worth checking are the options on the monitor. Some models let you select which RGB mode you want to use. Now I haven't been able to find a fix for this issue. There's lots of information on the internet with things to try, but for me, none of them have worked with the latest drivers from Nvidia. Number 3. AMD is much faster in DOS games. At a certain point, Nvidia decided to limit DOS performance, whereas on other video cards, performance will keep scaling at full speed. We have some comparisons here, running DOS benchmarks on a Core 2 Duo E8600. Across the board AMD is much faster. Now Nvidia is fast enough, but if you're looking for the top performance, maybe you're doing some benchmarking or some other projects, go with the AMD card. I do believe that there's no solution to fix this. Number 4. AMD outputs a much clearer and sharper image in DOS when using the DVI connection. You can see this in the BIOS screen, in MS-DOS and of course also in DOS games. 
The picture that the AMD Radeon outputs is nice and sharp, but with Nvidia they must be using a very soft scaler because the image is rather soft and blurry. Once again you can just turn to VGA to solve this issue, you will get a sharp image with the Nvidia cards and in general for DOS you want to use VGA anyway because it supports the 70Hz refresh rate, whereas with DVI uh, you start with 60 hertz, and there are a couple of games that actually use the refresh rate to synchronize themselves. But in the near future this might become interesting as a lot of video cards are actually abandoning the VGA port. Number 5. Also an issue under DOS. The AMD Radeon cards fill the entire area of the monitor, but with the Nvidia card we are getting a black border all around with the image being a lot smaller. This also isn't the case with old video cards, a GeForce 4 example will fill the entire screen when using DVI. So at some point Nvidia decided to make this change. Once again using the VGA output will fix this, but DVI is very handy for capturing DOS gaming footage for example. So if this is something that interests you, an AMD Radeon card should work out a little bit better for you. So guys there you have it. 5 things that the AMD Radeon does better than an Nvidia GeForce when it comes to retro gaming. We also had a look at some possible workarounds. Now if you know about these issues, do share your experiences down below in the comment section and also if you know of any other workarounds, do share them as well. To me I found this really interesting and I believe it's definitely a reason for us to check out more AMD Radeon cards in future projects. I doubt that Nvidia is going to do much to address any of these issues, but you never know, hope does die last as they say. In the meantime, what do you think, what is your favorite graphics card for Windows XP and DOS gaming and has your opinion changed in a way after watching this video? And that's it for this video guys, as always the usual YouTube stuff, please subscribe and click on the notification bell, give it a like if you found it useful, a dislike if you didn't, share the video with your friends and I shall see you soon with another one.